We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest miracles. When two people love each other so much that they are willing to commit their lives as one in spirit. The ability to love is a miraculous gift that God has given us. And a wedding is a celebration of that gift today. Today we have been invited to share and rejoice in Desiree and Jordan as they vow their unconditional love for each other and support them on their journey as husband and wife. Nothing is sweeter than love. Nothing more courageous, nothing higher, nothing wider, nothing more pleasant, nothing fuller or nor better in heaven and on earth, because love is born of God and cannot exist but in God. It is that all created things. Love is the reason we're here. According to God's plan, Jordan and Desiree have chosen each other, and we have gathered here today to witness their vows of love and to offer our blessings and our support for their marriage. Jordan and Desiree want to thank you all for standing here beside them, supporting them, and always showing them unwavering love. They are incredibly honored to call each and every one of you family. Please remember, at their house, the door is always open and the table is always set. And we now want to take a moment to recognize their parents, Jordan and Desiree, for their love, support, and devotion through all the years that have led us up to this very special day. Deborah and Brian Peters, and Deborah and Gary Wood, thank you for teaching them the definition of what a strong marriage is. Always showing your love and forgiveness to each and of the family through ups and downs of life. I wrote a. Uh got some questions to Desiree and Jordan and I put together a love story for about them and as I told them both already it it I had to take breaths because it's so beautiful Jordan and Desiree's love story is an Academy award-winning movie their story is filled with action-packed scene of two police officers protecting each other in the community as we pull into the action of what's going to happen next we're sitting at our seat, waiting for the next. The movie changes, it takes a twist, and it turns into the perfect Hallmark movie love story. <laughs> Jordan and Desiree redefine the definition of true partnership. They have an underlying trust and respect for each other and that a very small portion of human population can understand. Their relationship began, that trust and respect foundation, as partners defending crime, not partners in crime. <laughs> the two of them trusted each other down to the decisions they could make, which could be life-changing for one or both of them. As the years have passed, their relationship went from not only being police partners to best friends, sharing trials, tribulations, and joys of everyday life. As they continue to share some of their deepest moments and opening themselves to each other, God laid his hands on them and said, this is my true love. At that moment, there was a change in their relationship. Jordan and Desiree realized there was a romantic spark. Desiree said to herself, what am I to do with these feelings? I have these strong feelings. Desiree wanted to tell Jordan how she felt that she was so concerned that she would ruin their, my best friend. Eventually, Desiree built up her confidence to tell Jordan how she felt. Desiree called Jordan, very nervous, and said, I have something to tell you. But Jordan at that time said, and completed her sentence, I know what you want to tell me. I already know. And it's crazy, but I love you. Desiree and Jordan complete each other. Desiree, being quite the free spirit, she dances as if nobody's watching right into walls, and then falls over in laughter. <laughs> Desiree walks out the door and leaves her keys behind, her wallet her lunch, her uniform. Jordan, being the firm foundation he is for Desiree, patiently says, honey, do you have your wallet? Do you have your lunch? Do you have your uniform? When Jordan comes home from a hard day or his back hurts because of his service in the army, thank you for that. Desiree, being the caring person, says, darling, I love you so much. Please let me get you a beer or two or three. Put up your feet and go ahead and watch the Atlanta Braves game. 
Jordan and Desiree bring joy, peace, and laughter to each other on a daily basis. They push each other and pull up the slack for each other when needed. They both love to surprise each other to show their deep love for each other. They not only complete each other's sentences, but they also complete each other's purpose. Surprises. Desiree surprised Jordan and got him tickets to the Atlanta Braves with playing against the Rockies at the Coors Field. Jordan, being the fun, loving, and compassionate person, gave Desiree the surprise of her life when he knelt down on home base and said, Desiree, will you marry me? Jordan and Desiree hit the ball, hit the ball out of the ballpark together as one. Core values for Jordan and Desiree go very deep from the oath to serve and protect the greater good, having God as the core of their relationship with each other and their boys and what marriage means to both of them. Jordan and Desiree believe the sanctity of marriage is two people becoming one in the eyes of God. Jordan and Desiree are going into this marriage with profound partnership with very few people can experience. The deepness of their love and experiences goes deeper than the ocean. Desiree and Jordan chose two scripture readings. The first one is from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. For knowledge, it will pass away. The, le the next reading is Colossians 3, 12 through 17. Put on then as God chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness and patience, bearing with one another, and if has any complaint against each other, forgiving each other, as the Lord has given you. So you must forgive, and above all things put love, which binds everything together into perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ Rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of Jesus. Lord God, give thanks, Father, through him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and in its presence among us. We rejoice that these two people have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. We praise you, Lord, for the ways you touched all our lives with a variety of loving relationships. And we give thanks today for Jordan and Desiree and for the special love and friendship you have put in their hearts. Renew us as an affectionate and loving spirit. Enrich our lives with the greatest, gracious gift of your love so that we may embrace others with that same love. May our participation, celebration of love and commitment given to us a new joy and responsiveness to the relationships that we cherish. In your loving arms we pray, amen. Amen. The covenant of marriage is one that can be entered into only by persons who are both legally and spiritually free to offer themselves to each other. Therefore, in the presence of God and in the presence of all these witnesses here, I will ask Jordan Desiree to state your intentions. Have you two come freely and without reservation to give yourself each other in the holy state of matrimony? At this time, you want to go ahead and do your vows to Jordan. Jordan, do to Desiree. A flower to her. A flower to Desiree. Yeah. <laughs> Life isn't fair. Life isn't easy. Life gives us chances every day to make the best of what we have. I'm not a perfect man, but I'm a trying man. And I promise to always strive for perfection for you and for our family. God has given me peace in my heart and in my soul, 
but you give me peace in my home and my life. You're a blessing to me and the boys. The love and acceptance you show and give is unmatched. I've never had what you give. The love, grace, and peace you provide is like nothing I've ever experienced. We've seen each other at our absolute worst phases of our lives and took a chance when others didn't support us, when we had doubts, and when life was confusing, and when both of us were in charter waters in our life. We believed what no one else did, and here we are. We cut each other's backs as partners, and that will help each other's backs in life. I couldn't have asked for a better person to always be there for me when work or life gets crazy. You're my rock, my partner, my best friend, and now my wife. You're my person, and I'm a blessed man. I'll spend every day showing you the love and respect you deserve, and you'll always be my first. You will always be loved, you'll always be supported, and you'll always be mine. Jordan, my love, my best friend, the love of my life, and my soulmate. I can't tell you what a blessing it is to be standing here with you today. Anyone who knows me knows that I have a lot to say about you and I could talk about you for hours. And it was actually really difficult for me to be able to sum it all up in, into these vows, but I'll do my best. I never thought I'd be standing here today getting married to the man of my dreams. Eight years ago, when we met, I had no idea we would end up building this beautiful life together. But God did. God sent us to each other at the perfect time. And with God's grace, we were able to heal each other's wounds, grow as individuals, and find the purest, most incredible love we have ever known. God has had his hands in our love from the very beginning. You have been my best friend. You have been my partner, both personally and professionally. Together, we have conquered so much. We have served together, been on many scenes together, been through pain, experienced difficult tasks, been in harm's ways, and in many ways and in many times have saved each other's lives and have truly had each other's backs. From all of our years of being partners and friends, it bloomed into a deep mutual care and respect for one another that truly set a solid foundation for our relationship. You have given me more than I could ever put into words. You found me at my worst and you never gave up on me or on us. I have never had someone stand by me the way that you have. You have shown me true love that has been unwavering, true care, compassion, and I never knew what my heart was searching for and what God's plan was for me until I experienced your love. Jordan, you are everything that a good man should be. You are strong, courageous, brave, and extremely hardworking. I wish a lot of the times that you would just sit down and not do anything, but we're working on that. <laughs> In the same breath, you are also sweet, compassionate, goofy, and easygoing. And you are by far the funniest man I have ever met, and I can't wait to spend a lifetime laughing with you. In my eyes, you are everything, and I'm so crazy about you. When I look at you, I see the rest of my life, and I am so deeply and truly in love with you. I promise first and foremost to always keep my promises to you. I promise to always put you and our boys first. I promise to always be sensitive to your needs, to honor you, cherish you, love you, and respect you. I promise to always be faithful to you, and I promise to be the best mom to our boys that I can be. I promise to put in the work when things get hard and to never give up on us. And I can promise you from this point, you never have to worry ever again, and I always have your back. I'm so excited to begin our beautiful life together, and I love you the most. Now you are two bodies, but there is one life before you. Go now to the dwelling place to enter into the days of togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Amen. Amen. It is my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. We have a 
is Mr. and Mrs. Peters. Yeah.